Thanks, Carly. I know you love good movies, and there's a remarkable movie headed to Netflix right now. In fact, it's streaming as we speak. Uh, it's called Sergio. It's a heavy movie, not for the family, but it's a great movie when the uh, kids are in bed for the adults to watch. Remarkable true story of Sergio Vera de Mello. Uh, he was a UN ambassador killed tragically, and some say one of the greatest advocates for peace that this century has known. Uh, Wagner Mora plays him in the movie. If he looks familiar, he also ironically played uh, in Narcos, uh, Pablo Escobar. It's also directed by Greg Barker. I caught up with them earlier this morning in their homes to talk about it. For Wagner, I said, this is pretty much a dream come true, not having to really sit down with the likes of me. Take a listen. I know, Wagner, it might be like by design something you would hope for your whole life, not to have to really press the flesh with press. <laughs> it's, it's working okay. Uh, what do you say to people, because I'll tell you what I say, when people say, well, with what the world's going through right now, we need something uplifting and fun. But I say, au contraire, what we need right now is to watch something that reminds us that after this all passes, we still need to fight and celebrate for peace on earth, right? What struck me about Sergio is, is he probably saw more war and human suffering than anybody of his generation. Um, you know, he just was everywhere. Every global hotspot, he was there. Refugee crisis. And a lot of people, when, they're, when they have that, those kinds of experiences, become jaded and cynical. Uh, Sergio was an optimist. Um, he believed in the, the human spirit and its ability to persevere. Watch Sergio because more than ever, maybe we are we are witnessing uh, an extraordinary lack of empathy, especially in the world leaders. And I think that the, mo the, the most important thing that Sergio had was this specific quality, which is empathy. Yeah, just a remarkable movie. The cinematography is great. It's the first original Netflix movie to be released during this shelter in place. Uh, and it's going to be their big push for the Academy Awards. His wife in the movie is played by Ana de Armas. Uh, she's in the headlines right now because she was just great in Knives Out. And she's Ben Affleck's current other half. Over to you, Walt. You know what? I think somewhere down the road when you're hosting the Miss America pageant, all the contestants will say what they wish for, which is what? World peace, right? what I'm talking about. It's true. <laughs> exactly. All right. The next Burt Parks right there.